Zephyr, the 16th spirit of the Goetia Duke. Starting with the traditional interpretation of Zephyr, moving on to my own personal workings. Zephyr comes as a knight, for he's a duke, fallen angel. Some say he's a familiar of Lilith, queen of the night, and vampires, succupied incubus. He usually wears red armor. Associated with love, lust, and sodomy. His rank is Duke. Strongest on the 23rd of August to the 1st of September. Direction is West. Taros, Eight of Pentacles. Planet Venus. Metal, Copper. Element is Earth. Color, Green. Plant, Mandrake. Incense, Sandalwood. Zodiac, Virgo, start of Virgo, Chant, Lian, Ramek, Katja, Zephyr. Benefits, causes women to love men, specifically women loving men, so he's used love spells. The catch, so he makes women barren, so you make a love spell for a woman to love a man, Likely the woman will not be able to have children. Also, related to focusing on a skill. Related to the tarot card prudence. So we're cultivating a skill to bear fruit. This kind of course usually means material gain. With Zephyr, more to do with relationships, so focus cultivating a skill in order to get a woman to love us. So, preparing for this ritual, I did look for Mandrake, <laughs> couldn't find anyone. I have Salvi Divinorum, which is a plant of similar properties, and because I had a sore throat, which is now getting better, at the time I didn't want to smoke it, so I put some of the Salvi Divinorum in my offering bowl, just to be there. I also put in my candles. So it would burn in the wax. So I had sandalwood, Santa Palo, and say, and say, Salvative Norm burning. Definitely made a crazy spell, a smell in my room. <laughs> so I'm staring at the seal of Zephyr. And I could see his face appear. Eventually, it does appear to me. As a knight wearing red armor. He didn't speak to me, didn't say anything to me. Applied to me that I was to take out my own sexual weapon, my phallus, and massage it. He made 20 different massaging techniques for my own phallus. I knew already to prepare me for battle, and then showed me to build my own armor, energetic red armor, around my body using my sexual energy. So that was an interesting technique that I learned from Zapper. So what happened? So the next few days after this evocation that was been quite strange. The next day, I had a full conversation with my guardian angel. There was a full-on physical uh, change in my being. So this is the first conversation I had with my guardian angel, but this was the full-on complete one. 
to which I learned my guardian angel's name and I will make a different video on that because that's a big banana thing that's a really intense experience the weekend was quite raunchy and sensual I had so un come to my place came into my bedroom to which we were going to do a heart meditation and they said that the, in my bedroom there was a strange energy so we came in to the heart to heart connection meditation it was very intense they gave me a tarot reading to which they said that there was some energy that I was losing at night time and after that I was quite drained a lot of crazy things happened that night what's relevant is ever is I came back I literally saw a vampire standing in my room I came in and I was just like well vampires is going to eat me because I was like going to lie down my bed and a vampire was Lilith. Zephyr is a familiar of Lilith. And she came to me and took her to her cave. Maybe I'll make another video on working as a Lilith. But, but going into Lilith's cave, my first time venturing into the, the Kifaloth, the moving out of the tree of life and into the tree of death, is the first Kifla. Which is Lilith's domain, and triggering this new exploration of consciousness. Two new explorations of consciousness. One is the full conversation with my guardian angel, which is coming from practicing with these Goetia spirits, particularly practicing the bonus ritual about one or two or sometimes three times a day, which is triggering it. And then Zephyr specifically leading me to Lilith and going, Look, there's this vampire essence within all of us. There's a part, the dark side of being a physical creature is that we consume energy. And we, quite often, we overconsume things. And it can be quite destructive and quite violent, which is innate to every human being. And it opened me up to my own vampire tendencies. They can be ever so strange and subtle. Like I'm often appearing on stage and performing as an artist and it's like, wow, I'm getting it for praise. And it's like being a vampire. It's just sucking that energy from the crowd, which the energy that the crowd gives willingly because they're happy to sell. But all these kind of different circumstances where I'm doing something just to provoke an emotional reaction from somebody and receive some kind of a high from it. It's just really has opened me up to a completely different understanding of how consciousness works through Zephyr connecting with Lilith which then connects me to the tree of death and I don't know where that's gonna go. I'm just, uh, I just connecting with the night side forces well, now, I have, now I'm connected with my guardian angel, I can now like let go and just allow that process and experience to unfold because I'm not connected with my. And I know the name of my guardian angel, so I can, my guardian angel can just be invoked at any time. So, coming from Zephyr, I spun off these two other really intense topics, which is the conversation with my guardian angel, which is, has to be many videos on its own, and obviously working with Lilith. A vampire angel energy is just wow, it's just like wow, vampires are real. And what, what you see in the television is just obviously just an entertaining description of something that is actually happening. So that's the end of my rambling nonsense for now. <laughs> I think it's Zephyr. <laughs>